Now, Ed, before the break, we jumped into something that I, I'm passionate about. I know you're passionate about it also. We both own a lot of what we're talking about, but annuities and life insurance and things that protect you from all the ups and downs of the market. I mean, sure, we, we own stocks, bonds, mutual funds. The market's always going to do what it's going to do. It's going to go through its cycles. But there are some things that protect us from that. And those are things like certain types of guaranteed annuities that protect your principal, that have income riders that give you lifetime income, and also life insurance. And here's where this – it's always meant a lot to me, but in this past year, in 2022, on August 29th, my father passed away. My father was a lifelong financial advisor, 52 years in the industry. And so he, he spent a lot of his career working as an assistant vice president for Merrill Lynch. He spent the last 14 years working with me. But the thing is, here's the thing. He had a lot of his money in the market in 01 and in 08 at Merrill Lynch, and it went, you know, bye-bye. It, it, it went down. And the key to that is it could have been okay if he would have been in his 30s, but he was 56 and 63 when 01 and 08 happened. That's a critical in uh, time. You don't really have the time to have it come back. So he did eventually in 2011 – he actually rolled out all of his brokerage money. He purchased three fixed indexed annuities with income riders. There, there's multiple kinds he could have purchased, but he bought three of those. He also purchased a life insurance policy. Now, this is what's interesting, Ed. My father was a CLU. He sold tons of life insurance, but he didn't own any. He didn't own any permanent life insurance until I said, Dad, you really need to think about this. You're insurable. Your health is great. You need to think about mom in the future. So in 2011, he took out a life insurance policy on himself, and thank God he did because you you know what's coming, Ed. When he passed, my mother has had the beauty and the benefit of continuing those annuity payouts, continuing uh, to, to get the tax-free blessing from life insurance. It's what sustained her. So, Ed, I know we've talked about it before. Do you own annuities and life insurance? Absolutely. I mean, people say this stuff is junk, so – I don't Why? talk about anything that I don't do for myself. Well, sometimes I do because certain things don't apply to everybody. But when right. I talk about it, these are things I did for my own family. Let me start with my mother. Uh, my father died many years ago, and my mm -hmm. mother uh, you know, lived well into her 90s, and she had a financial advice. Not me. Again, I don't sell these products. I'm a tax advisor. But she had an advisor very much like Brad that saw, you know, Bev, you're going to go. She was like the energizer bunny, uh, you know, she uh, uh, and the advisor knew that. That's an important thing, communicating with your clients, which I know you do, Brad, and you know your clients. And he knew her and he said, you know, you're going to need income for a long time. And she sold the house we grew up in, the only house uh, she, they ever, we ever had. And uh, put a lot of that money into, I think, four or five of these annuities. And that was the greatest gift that she could have given us. The greatest gift you can give your own family and yourself is the gift of financial security. To put That's it right. this way, the greatest gift you can kill, give your children is to not move in with them. <laughs> that's because boy. That's right. Financial security, and she had that. Now, my brother and sister are not financial people. They don't even realize the gift she gave them, mm -hmm. because they never realized that you know she had this money coming in, and she used to talk about it all the time. She says, oh, "These checks come in, no matter." And they did. The checks come in, come in every month, no matter how old she got, no matter how sick she got. And no matter how the stock market performed, it didn't matter to her. In fact, even at the very end, I was visiting her at the hospital and I looked at a checking account and mine was only like $600 left. So what do I care? I get new checks every month. She was That's it. a good sailor. You know, she was, you know, there's something about having guaranteed income. I can't, I don't know what it is. I just know people with guaranteed income, they're just happier people. They don't worry about all of these things. And I saw that in her. So to me, the financial security was unbelievable. I followed her lead. You say, do I have annuities? Yes. The only thing better than guaranteed income for life is what I have. Do you want to have a commercial here? Because now people want to know what is that? And I'll tell you right away. I hate when people do that. You know, you got to listen to the next. Come back after the break. <laughs> yeah. The only thing better than guaranteed income for life is what I have. What do you have, Ed? Well, if you've been listening to me, 
I like tax freedom too. The only thing better than guaranteed income for life is guaranteed tax free income for life. How did I do right. that? I followed my mother's lead. I have it in my IRA, but I don't have an IRA because I like Roth IRAs. I have my annuities in my Roth IRAs, not for everything. I still believe you want to get the upside of the market. But as a general rule, here's some of my rules of retirement. In retirement, income is always more important than savings because savings can run out. Yes. That's incredibly important. And my other rule for retirement, uh, as far as guaranteed income, my rule, everybody has different rules, but I bet you this would help most people. Basic monthly living expenses, whatever that number is for you. This is a number you must have money for. Basic monthly living expenses, whatever that number is for you. That should be secured with guaranteed income. You can't tell the electric company, oh, the market's down this month. Can I catch you next month? No, it doesn't work like that. You need that money coming in. So I believe that whatever your number is for basic monthly living expenses should be secured by guaranteed monthly income like my mother had. You never have to worry. Yes, the rest you can have in the market. And that's what I have in my own Roth IRA. I have market exposure, but I have guardrails against it with those annuities. I have a buffer, a protection against downside risk. And if I ever need that, I have guaranteed tax-free income for life. I'm hoping never to use that and to pass it on to my kids.